So the future uh, of philosophical theology, you know, there's these, these movements in, in uh, what's been called analytic theology that's trying to take the philosophical resources and, and bring them more directly to bear on uh, questions in Christian theology. What, what, do, you, what do you see uh, as, as the prospects of the future of uh, philosophical theology? What needs to be done? What uh, uh, are you hopeful that, that work will continue in this area? Well, uh, when Anglo-American philosophers started uh, applying uh, the then philosophy to the Christian religion, that they were first concerned with questions of meaning. What did it mean to say there is a God? What, what was this just nonsense? And then they became interested in arguments uh, for the existence of God and justification of those arguments. And then they have become, in recent years, interested in arguments for particular Christian doctrines, such as the Trinity or the Incarnation or Resurrection, what can be said for and against, how do these arguments work, or whether uh, uh, can these doctrines too be made probable. Um, and, and all that's good. And I think they are beginning to consider certain issues of morality. Um, uh, there are Christian moral views which differ from those of the secular world. Um, and uh, uh, we need to look at uh, how one will justify those particular views, uh, and that is good. Uh, it's always difficult to predict the future of a science because if you really knew the future of a science, you'd know, <laughs> you'd know the answers, as it were. Um, you can't predict what the next theory will be, otherwise you'd already have it. Um, so I'm a little hesitant to predict exactly where it will go. Um, it's got plenty more work to do on arguments and Christian doctrine. Um, I hesitate to uh, predict just where it will go. Um, there's been quite a bit of beginning to be applied to, of these techniques to other religions and see how they shape up. And uh, I hope that will continue because I think they shape up rather badly actually <laughs> compared with Christianity. Uh, and uh, I think we, we need to bring uh, Islam and Buddhism into the discussion and uh, see if they can do a bit better than perhaps initially they seem to do by way of arguments. Uh, that I, I think would be good, but that involves of course getting to know Islam a lot better than people in the West do and getting to know Buddhism a lot better. And um, uh, what certainly people in Eastern religions would say is, well, uh, we don't go in for arguments that Buddhism is a practice, it's, it's not uh, something you do, it's not, something, not a system of belief. But uh, an obvious counter, it would be, it, it's pretty silly sort of thing to do unless it's got, unless you've got any reason why it's a good thing to do, practice this kind of way. So uh, argument can start there. Uh, so that is certainly uh, one way in which it would advance. Um, and the work of understanding particular Christian attitudes to various moral matters, not just sex, but uh, life, um, you know, abortion, euthanasia, um, uh, uh, when, uh, uh, what sort of um, techniques of mus messing about with embryos are right, which sort of are wrong, anim animal experimentation and so on. There's a great deal of work to be done there and certainly I would hope that would be done.